Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, K-Star Moon, Life After. This message is for Capricorn. Capricorn, I am so sorry, but this also happened with me with Libra. Something, something's happened with my video, I don't know. But these are the cards that I have pulled out for, for you. The same thing happened with Libra um, reading. Um, basically, Capricorn, um, the first card that I pulled out was the King of Pentacles for you. And then I pulled out the Nine of Wands. And then I pulled out the Hermit. Okay, so the cards next to them are just clarification cards. Um, so basically here you have the King of Pentacles. Okay, so like this is the space that you're in right now or that you want to be. Basically, the universe is saying, okay, now with that space, this is the Nine of Wands. Like you're going to be taking possibly some hits from what you're trying to achieve. But that's a good thing. Okay. That is a good thing because guess what? Whenever you're trying to build something, something in the beginning, you know, you always, you, you, you got the grind. Notice how he has the ones behind him. He's battered and bruised. He got a cut on his face. But this does not mean to stop what you're doing. Also here too, next to it, you have the Hermit card. So basically what the Hermit is saying, whatever that you're trying to accomplish and achieve, to look within and make sure that it's really your true life passion because guess what? When a person is at this point, no matter what it is, and they're really working hard for what they want, that's their passion. I'm hearing Capricorn beat, you know, move to the beat of your own drum. Don't do what people tell you what they think that you should do. What is your passion so that you can get to the night, the, the king of pentacles here? Okay? Because guess what? When you build with your passion, eventually, this nine of wands is not even going to feel like a job. It's not even going to feel tough anymore. But with this card, this is the foundation that you are building. Okay? Hard work. I'm also hearing, too, don't listen when people, you know, people be so quick to tell you when you tell them, you know, things that you're trying to accomplish. And this is why you shouldn't tell people your business. When you tell people things that you're trying to accomplish, people always be like, oh, you want that headache doing this? Oh, you want them people to that? You want blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you something. There's going to be headache in everything that you do. But what good of a headache it is when you own your own, when you are the king of pentacles, when you're running your own shit. Because look, you go to school, oh, that's going to be stressful for you. Uh, you trying to go to school and go to work. Or it's a situation where what you going to do? Are you going to just sit there and be bad, battered and bruised and get distressed through a job? Now, I'm not saying not to leave your job. What I'm saying is in every aspect in your life, when you're trying to do better, or you're trying to create, you're going to go through this period. That's just the honest and God truth. You want to go through this period. And that's why I just say to just look within and guess what? You're going to receive a message for whatever you're doing right now. You're going to get some type of communication on what it is you need to do to build whatever it is you're trying to build, whether it's school or whether it's a business. You're going to get some type of communication. And guess what? When you get that communication and you look within, here you come now with the Knight of Swords. You're going to be quick on your actions because you want to know why you got the clarity now. You have the clarity now, okay? Just be mindful. Just don't tell anyone anything that you're trying to do right now and move forward because people will talk you out of your goals. That's why you can't tell certain people certain things. People will talk you out of your goals. Let me see. I'm going to pull on um, life purpose cards. I'm going to pull three life purpose cards. And remember, if this does not resonate to you, then don't even let it apply, you know. Well, it can apply. Just let it apply. If it does, learn from it. There's a lot of changes in this retrograde, okay? A lot of changes. Holy Spirit for Capricorn. Could you give us three cards, life purpose cards for Capricorn? And yeah, y'all, three is my, is my favorite number. Here you have freedom. You're free to do what you choose. I was just saying that. Don't let nobody talk you out of what it is you're trying to do. That's how you become the king of pentacles. Holy Spirit. 
I'll give you two more cards for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Clarify for this reading. Creative expression. I just said it. Some of y'all trying to build your own. Your soul longs to express yourself creatively. And this is a person who is passionate about what they're doing. That's why they're taking a beating. Okay? Holy Spirit, please give us one more card for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Options. Consider the career possibilities that are open to you. Look within. That's the Hermit card. Okay, let me show you. Uh oh. Look within. Look within. Recognize your options so you can move in like that night and do what you need to do. Okay? Let me see. I'm going to also pull a, a butterfly. Where is my butterfly? Here it is. Life changes because it's all about changing, honey. It's all about changing. We are constantly in a world today where you have to constantly reinvent yourself. Okay, Holy Spirit, give me three cards for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. You have to constantly reinvent yourself, even when you have degrees. It's like you got to constantly reinvent yourself. You know, the tides are changing. Life is changing really fast. Let me see, Holy Spirit, what do we have here? Body changes. Sobriety and memories. Okay? So some of y'all could also be in, you know, you want to get your shape on back together or eating more healthier, um, exercising more, um, just being careful on what you taking in your body. Some of you now, your life changes through sobriety. You know, you, you, you're either cutting out your drinking or you are um, limiting it. And the other one is memories. You know, some of y'all are on the path of holding on to memories. But you know, with all of this, this is just a multitude or a creation of you. And to know, like, these are just different changes that you have to channel in to be a better you. Don't let anyone come in and have you waver from that. Because people will try to talk you out of anything that is positive. You only have a selected few of people who will actually sit there and say, you know what, go for it. Most people will try to talk you out of it. Whether well, it's body change, you know, you're drinking too much or, you know... But just, just, just know, even with all these three cards with life changes, you're going to have this moment. And just know, even though you may not see nothing working out in front of you, the spirit of divine is, 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 is working in your best interest. It is. I'm going to pull out one more card for you. Hold on. Just one from my saints and angels. And the reason why I'm so passionate about really pulling out these cards for you, Capricorn, is because I've seen it so many times where people actually try to talk people out of anything good for themselves. You know, it's just, it, it's ridiculous. And, and when people do stuff like that and say, oh, you can't do this and you can't do that, they're saying that because they feel like... <laughs> To put up confidence, Saint Michael, the Archangel. Have confidence in what you do in Capricorn. 
But what I was going to say is people try to talk you out of your goals and your accomplishments because they don't see it for themselves. There's a video going around with Jay-Z and he was talking about how when he first started out, his uncle told him, Jay-Z said he was going to sell a million copies. His uncle told him he was not going to sell a million copies. Now imagine if Jay-Z would have listened to what his uncle said. Jay-Z wouldn't have been what Jay-Z is right now, is he? Which is a billionaire. He wouldn't even have the life that he has. Have confidence in what you're going to do. No matter how battered and bruised you may be doing it, have confidence that it is going to work. Manifest it. Light a candle. Light a candle and manifest. Write down what it is that you want and go after it. Because it's in the cards for you, Capricorn. Okay? So, thank you for watching my channel. I am K-Star Moon. Life after. Subscribe, like, and share. And remember, every ending is a beautiful beginning. And if it doesn't apply, let it apply. And if it does, learn. See you next time.